All your tests are passing, but the users are still seeing the broken results. Chances are you are testing the internal states of components instead of the actual user interactions. Today, I will show you what's the root of the problem and how to fix it. Let's say we have a search box component we want to test. Um, and when you type, uh, it shows some search result and uh, it will fetch uh, the data from the remote server. Let's say in a code, it's a basically a search box component and you have a customer hook to uh, manage all these setters, the query, uh, fetch a request, and uh, save that into a result, and then you can use that to render the result. That's a very simple setup. And the way you test the component matters a lot. If you look at the customer hook use search, it's pretty straightforward. You can see the it's using the use effect. Whenever a query changed, it will fetch the result. We will ignore the risk condition or any network tricky things here for now. And if we think of how we tested the user search hook, you simply run the hook and you set the query to something and you expect the data from the hook contains that value. This is testing the internal state. That's something we want to avoid because it's very brittle. Anytime when we want to change the implementation of the user search hook, the test will break. Instead, we should test the functionality from the user's perspective. By that, I mean, we run the search box and we found the input box from the page. We want to see the screen to get by row and we want to search uh, by the name search. And then once we have that input box and we type into that input, it's just like a simulate the user are typing uh, to search. And after that, we want to say, all right, we want to expect the React testing library to be in a document. So this is the, what the users say on the page. So testing from the user's perspective, make your test resilient to refactor. Let's say you are replacing the on the hood uh, fetching to something like React query. Not only the test will pass, we are confident to say the user will see the expected results. Another benefit is the code is more intuitive to your teammate. Whoever will make changes on the test or search box, they don't have to untangle how the hook manages your status or side effects. So next time we write a test to your component, think like a user. What's the interaction a user would have to your component on the page? If you found this helpful, please hit the like and the subscribe for more practical tips. Leave a comment if you still have questions and happy coding.